Hello everyone, this is Valhalla Gaming TV, and this is the channel that plays everything so you don't have to. We are back again with Botany Manor. This is going to be part two. Uh, if you haven't gotten to the first part, I'll leave a playlist to click on the top right. And let's get back into it. Okay, let's go over here. We got to find out how to... Or for the library hall, we're going to need to find out what letters we need to open that. But first we need to get to the Rose Garden. Which we can use the terrace, I think. I already looked at all this. The kitchen's locked. And we got the key for this. Alright. The music's nice, too. Oh, yeah. Look at all the plants. Locked from the other side, so we can't get through there. What a nice place. Wait a minute. Is that the farmer that was complaining? That far away? I swear. That far away they're complaining about those flashes. Okay, so we got this plant area. We went out to the back terrace. Let's look at the map real quick. And map. So back terrace is number six. Number seven is the rose garden. That's where the seed is. It's right down there. And we're looking for... Go back to the index. We're on chapter two. We are looking for the ash bloom. And we need some clues for it as well. Such a nice place. Multi-million dollar house. Flowers, plants of Great Britain. and Pratt. Got another chair. Got some pillows. It's be a lot of work to keep this place up. You have to have an army of gardeners. You call them the Green Thumb Legion. Now they got the grass on here. There we go. Seed log. Arabella Green Seed Log, 1890. Summary of some seeds I've gathered this year and the location as I found them. Owl Parsley, Black Down Hills, Poppy, Cheddar George, Buttercups, Start Marshes, Ash Bloom, Whitman's Wood. Okay, that's the one we're looking for. Uh, wood... Ane I don't even know how to say that. Anemone? Anemone? Uh, Wholefoot Comb, Wild Thyme, Whole Bone Wood, and Foxglove, Ford Abbey. Okay. And there's the seed. Keep zooming in. This might be a tough case to crack. Not if you're me, I'm the world's greatest botany detective. As you guys will see. Alright, let's sit here again. Every chair. His butt is testing it. We got the formal gardens. Probably locked. There is. What about in here? Oh wow. Place just keeps going. Letter from Grace. My dear friend Arabella. A friend of mine visited the Americas and brought back a pair of fabulous gray squirrels. They are the latest trend in garden decoration. All of my neighbors have sent for them as well. It was a great investment. The two squirrels have now started a big family, and my garden is full of the darling little critters. One thing I did notice is that I haven't seen a red squirrel in my garden for some time now. How odd. You must visit soon and see the squirrels for yourself. Ever yours, Grace. And I know all about them squirrels in the old Americas. Squirrels are pretty cool. Alright, let's sit on this bench. There's no bench this butt has not tested. Oh wow, is there a waterfall down there? Sounds like there's a waterfall. I don't see it though. Okay, let's... Oh, we got the kitchen. So I'd imagine that's going to be where some clues are. Let's see what this says. Kitchen notes. Uh, Hazel Patterson kitchen notes. Thursday. Jimmy broke another mortar. That boy really needs to learn how to grind spices without breaking down my kitchen. Lady Arabella may not be best pleased with me asking for a new one. The last mortar took years to be sorted. She's so scatterbrained, always off on her fancy research trip. Okay, shopping list. Flour, eggs, milk, leeks, potatoes, carrots. Okay, that's it. That'd be a nice place to cut some vegetables. Uh, why exactly would you have to go and get all those vegetables if you got a whole place like a garden like this? They just do flowers here, I guess. They don't grow anything else. 
Man, you can at least grow your own potatoes. Okay, let's go to the kitchen. I already read that. This says it's locked from the other side, so we have to find a way around. Painting room. Kitchen's at the end here. Oh, come on. I keep hitting right trigger. Zoom. Oh, wow. This place just keeps getting better and better. This must be the pantry. This is a big pantry. You can put everything in here. Why in God's name would you even leave a house like this? I just live in it forever. Mysterious symbol. Okay. That's a sheep with a flag. Definitely a sheep flag. Okay. I guess you could just look at it. And what do we got here? We got weights. What are we trying to wait against? There's nothing in there yet. We got to figure that out. Got a grinder. Oh, what do we got here? Religious blessing. Okay, let's bless this kitchen. Gifted by Nicholas Owen. Uh, blessed is this kitchen. By grace and holy light, may all those who enter find comfort and respite. Blessed is each room with laughter and with cheer. May the love shared here be held forever dear. To those who serve the Lord, who seek their sanctuary, remember the year of construction, for this, friends, is the key. Oh, wow. That was beautiful. Um, yeah, okay. Let's see what this is. Hazel's Priceless Recipes. Uh, for the home, farm, workshop, and every department of human endeavor. Roasted chestnuts. Uh, this is a simple recipe, perfect to warm those cold winter nights. You can use any chestnuts. They are easily foraged. The main difficulty with chestnuts is that they have a tough shell. But like many nuts and seeds, it's easy to crack them open with the help of fire. Simply place the nuts in a pan above the fire and wait till you hear a pop. This means that your chestnuts are nicely roasted and ready to eat. Sounds like popcorn. We're having chest popcorn. Okay. Oh, there's a fire over there. What else we got? Oh, chair. Sitting in the chair. Oh, yeah. Testing that bad boy out. We got kindling. And old letter. University College, London, 1853. Dear lady, we received your letter applying to study botany at our College of Natural Sciences, along with your enclosed drawings. We do not, at present, and have never admitted women to study at the college. Botany is a serious science and conducted in laboratories and lecture halls. By all means, continue to pursue your hobby, tending to your garden and collecting flowers in the appropriate domestic space where it may be appreciated. Positions at the college are reserved for serious scholars whose studies will go on to be well utilized in a career in botanical experimentation. Therefore, with all politeness, we do not offer these valuable positions to amateurs that should otherwise be taken up by genuine academics. Signed, Professor John altering me. I probably said that wrong. Yeah. No ladies in the college. That sucks. Looks like she really got into it, though. They got- they probably messed up. Oh, there's the broken mortar. Broken mortar. What's this one? Dartmoor Lecture. Society of Historians. Southwest Group. Monthly lecture open to all society members. The History of Dartmoor, given by our, residents, our resident natural history professor. The professor will present how the moor was once covered in a majestic forest and woods, how early settlers came to the area and cleared most of the trees for pastures, using fire as their method of choice. It promises to be a fascinating story of how the moorland we know and love today came into existence. And... okay. So, I'm not noticing anything that's clues for that yet. I did hear about the chestnut thing, but I don't see any chestnuts. Maybe the seed needs to be roasted on that or something. That would be interesting. Or maybe we gotta... Wait a minute. Ash bloom. Okay. Maybe we gotta take the plant and put it on here. Cook it. That'd be interesting. What's this one? To someone special, a romantic card. Oh. 
Okay, dearest Hazel, I picked you some roses from the garden to cheer you up. When you're done with your work in the kitchen, would you like to meet me for a cup of tea in the formal garden? The pond is lovely this time of year. Warm regards, Mr. Bennett. Ooh. Okay. The ancient oak stands tall in Wistman's woods. Uh, covered in moss, they withstood the test of time. Though none can tell the sorrows that did befell. Those trees in Wistman wood. Trying to figure out. Ooh, we got a porcelain duck. That one's cool. What else we got? Okay, it's not locked, so we, we got places to go. Oh, look at all the logs. We got oak, maple, cherry logs, and birch logs. That's cool. Cherry looks cool. Now, what are we going to use for that? Got some carrots. Oh, a smokery. Home smoking and curing. Chapter 4. Uh, let's see. Using the home smokery. The type of wood to use in your smokery is of great importance. Though which one to pick depends entirely on your personal taste and preferences. Burning wood from different types of trees produce different smoke aromas. This is due to different chemical compositions in each type of smoke. It has a great impact on the flavor of your smoked food. So in summary, choose your wood logs with care. Indeed. That does make the difference. Let's see what we got in the smokery. Okay. Looking like a sauna in here. All those sausages. Smoked food. Man. This person's living the life. Okay. Okay, I think I can put some wood in there. Let's see. Let's go with a cherry. Inspect the cherry log. Go into the smokery, put some cherry in here. Ooh. The aroma. Shut the door. Let's get the full experience. Is it shut? Shut the door. It pops up. There it goes. Yeah, we're getting the full experience of the cherry. Okay, I'm not exactly sure what we're supposed to be doing there. Nothing seems to be telling me what I need to do, unless I'm just totally missing it. Which again... Let's see. Let's see if we can find anything special here. Roses from the Great Garden to cheer you up. Formal Garden. Teacup. No. Okay. Warm regards. Look around some more. We did have the weights in here, for whatever reason. And we got that symbol. Put the 9 ounce weight on there. Boom. Can we put anything in there? No. Okay. What's that? That's weird. Does it just keep going like that? Interesting. And we didn't see any, uh... Um, I wasn't looking really, but any, like, words that were, like, three letters? Let's look around some more. And... We don't got no keys for anything else, do we? Might be a tough case to crack. Well, this has a... A tough, uh, shell, I think. Maybe I need to roast it. That's closed from the inside. Okay, we're in a bit of an impasse here. Let's go outside to the rose garden real quick. I think I gotta go to the back terrace again. And then let's go and get that plant going. See what we can do with it. There it is. Okay, we're gonna put the soil in. Plant the ash bloom. Get that water. Nope, okay. Good. So we gotta crack it open. 
So one of those things is a clue. Smoking book? Nope. Cooking book. I'd imagine that's one of them. But I think we're supposed to go and cook this thing. So we can crack this, uh, the shell open. Ooh, look at it. Look at that. Achievement. Crack. Germinate the ash plume seed. Okay. Now we gotta go water it, I'm pretty sure. And maybe we're supposed to put it in the smoker. Okay, it doesn't want to be watered yet. What else do we got here? Compost bin. We don't want to do that. So we germinated the seed. Hmm. Let's go to the smoker, see what we can do with that. All the way over to the smokery. Is there a place I can put this inside the smokery? Ooh, yep, right here. Okay. I'm gonna use that cherry again. As you're, the, uh, the wood you use is your preference. Why is this always hard to close? Smoke it. Right, shut the door. Shut the door. Anything? Come on, Ash Bloom. Yeah, I think I smoked it. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. Maybe water right now? Okay, let's see if we can water the thing. So, there must be clues hidden in all the stuff that I went through and I just didn't notice it. Gotta be. Now, some water maybe? Nope. Okay, we're gonna have to go through stuff again. I'm gonna put this back in the smokery. Maybe there's not enough smoke. Go back in here. Smoke the crap out of it. Put that back up there. Grab some more cherry. I'll try some other woods if nothing works. Is that one? Nope, you can only do one at a time. Okay. Let's read some more stuff. I'll leave the plant in there. Gotta uh, take a deeper look at this. Type of wood in your smokery. Good importance. Depends entirely on your personal taste. Burning wood in different types of these produce different smoke aromas. Composition of smoke. Great. Choose your wood logs with care. Okay. Let's say that the smoke book is part of the clues here. And seed log. I'm just going to start throwing them in here. Pyro file. Did that do it? I'm not sure how that worked. I don't know if I just messed that up or not. I guess that was all the clues. Okay, let's try different pieces of wood then. Birchwood. You like the birch wood, Ash Bloom? Is that your thing? Yeah, that seems to be gone. All right, we're going to do the maple. I'm going to go grab that oak real quick. says it's my preference though so I don't know if it makes a difference and that one's gone now you oak it up oh that up oh. the oak did it yeah we did it 
Those clues said something, but I don't know where it said any of that. I missed it, clearly. The ash bloom is a pyrophile. Evolved to survive harsh forest fires, its seeds crack open with extreme heat, and afterwards the oak smoke from its habitat indicates it's safe to bloom. Okay, I probably did read all that and just missed it. But, what was that? Oh, we got a delivery at the gatehouse. Okay, I fumbled my way through it. All right. I gotta be, uh, take a closer look at the, the stuff I'm reading, because clearly I missed it. Well, let's get to that gatehouse. All the way over here. And this place is awesome. Oh, we got a delivery, right? Oh, we got the orchard key. Thank you for the delivery, whoever you were. So I think the orchard is on the left over here. And that should take us to chapter three. Making it get. Yep. Oh, it looks. Well, no, that wasn't open, was it? Yeah, it was. We opened it. There we go. Into the orchard. Look at that. Peculiar petals. Two new plants added. Okay, let's see what we got. Pixie Tears. This flower is closely associated with orchards. I wonder why. And Wolf Glove. The small flower has long tubular petals. How interesting. Okay, we got... Um, the seed packet is in the orangery. And this one is in the orchard. This is a really cool game. It's a puzzle game for sure, but I really like the whole... Uh, like the, um, not genre, but the theme of it all. It's nice and relaxing. Okay, let's read these and really take a look at it. Dear niece, I have gathered a selection of my cherished toys and books, among them my beloved piggy. I highly re recommend the nursery rhymes. They are charming as well as educational, though I'll take no offense should they play. They put your little one straight to sleep. With all my affections, Auntie Arabella. Okay, so maybe the plant needs some kind of music. Let's see what this says. A treasury of nursery rhymes. The wolf glove. High on the mountaintop, so steep, grows a flower that's hard to keep. Its petals delicate and bright, whistling in the wind with all their might. The mountaineers who climb up high listen for the whistle as they try to find their way amidst the snow and reach the summit, cheeks aglow. With every step, they hear it loud, the wolf gloves howl, clear and proud, guiding them through the pass unknown to reach the summit and call it home. Okay, so it's in the mountains, so it must be cold, and maybe the sound of the wind, which makes noise, is going to be the thing that makes it grow. Pixie tears, wolf glove. So let's go with that nursery rhyme. So the wolf glove, I, I'm guessing that it's going to have to take some kind of noise. Or wind, or some cold. Okay, we got all that. We need to find the seed still. What's this one? Specimen. Red Campion. Interesting. Fox glove. What we got in here? Can we put them in there? Bunch of specimens. Microscope slide. Primrose. Spring dance shrub. Hi Hyakinth. Pixie tears. Ah. Cradle fern. Bluebell. Ah, I remember that in Viva Pinata. One of my favorite games. Got them bluebells. Tincture of iodine. Perfect for preparing microscope slides. Okay. Iodine. Um, the pixie tears. I would imagine that that one... Let's see, the microscope slides are probably for that. Okay, let's read this. Um, chloroplasts. In the world of plants, the sun is the ultimate source of energy. Chloroplast, or... I'm just going to go with that. Uh, small organelles inside the cells of a plant are responsible for capturing the light from the sun and converting it into sugar through photosynthesis. However, not all plants have chloroplasts. Um, 
some plants rely on organic matter for their energy and do not photosynthesize. They have lost their chloroplast over time and have instead adapted to obtain energy by absorbing sugars through their roots. It is therefore recommended to add a certain amount of sugar to the soil when cultivating these particular plants. Okay. So it looks like the pixie one is going to need some sugar. We need sugar for the pixie one. What's this? Orchard mosaic. I thought it was going to be one of those slide puzzles. The history of England. Priest holes. An illustrated history of England for scholars, advanced classes, and the discerning reader by A. and E. Strickland. Priest holes. Back in the Middle Ages during the reign of Queen Elizabeth, all Catholics were prosecuted or persecuted by law. Therefore, some households built secret rooms in case they needed to hide a priest that was visiting for their family home. Many of the, these so-called priest holes were designed and built by Nicholas Owen. Only the owner of the house and Nicholas himself knew about the location because of this. It is thought that there may be many undiscovered priest holes throughout England to this day. So maybe there's a secret priest hole around here. Let's see what this one says. Letter for Historian. Lady Arabella, thank you for inviting me to Botany Manor last Monday. As a historian, I found it wonderful to see a medieval manor, especially one as beautiful as yours. I apologize again for not being able to locate the priest hole in your house. Though I am convinced, it exists and we will find it one day. It won't be easy, they tend to be hidden well and sometimes require elaborate mechanics to be opened. And regards, Professor Pennyworth. Okay, so there definitely is a hidden place here. And it's a medieval manor. It definitely is pretty, though. I will agree with that. Let's see what we got over here. Uh, advice letter. Dearest Arabella, how are you getting on in your garden? I hope it's not getting to be too much for you on your own these days. Our mutual friend mentioned you have been struggling to germinate the ash bloom. I may have some advice for you. Have you tried making sure that is fresh compost in the pot? Stubborn seeds often need that to grow. I'll visit you sometime, and perhaps I can find a way to crack the seed for you. I can show you the book I've been working on at the same time. You're sincerely, sincerely, Charles Tucker S. Well, Trucker, I already figured that out. That was useless. Why is it over here? Collect seeds. We got the pixie tears. This is the seed that needs sugar. And what do we got here? Okay, we got notes on soil additives. Sometimes I need to add extra nutrition to the soil. I have found the following amounts to work best with my different pots. That's going to be important. So whichever pot we're using, we need to weigh out on that scale the additive, which I would think is sugar. So what pot are we going to use? I'm guessing we're using this pot. Okay, let's grab the soil. Let's grab that pixie tier plant a little water okay or was i supposed to do that first let me use <laughs> uh oh was i supposed to water it right away maybe i was supposed to do the additive first okay well we got extra seeds so let's uh where's the compost thing there it is goodbye plant Let's just add that soil to it. Let's see if we can bring that soil into the house. And I'll come back and... Well, we don't need to come back. Let's just look at the number real quick for this kind of pot. I'm guessing it's 97 grams. 97 grams. Let's remember that. So let's go to the kitchen and see if we can find some sugar. Wait a minute. Can we go this way? Remember there was an opening in like the greenhouse thing? Wonder if there's a way to get into it from this direction. I'll come back to that seat. Oh, I'll go and do all this stuff. There's the other one. Yep, there's the opening here. Got it. Let's go to the kitchen. 97. There's sugar in here. That's the other thing we gotta find. Yeah, we need to find some sugar. Okay, I guess we don't need this. Let's go back. 
And the sugar's not even in the kitchen. Where would you put it? If I was sugar, where would I be? I think I'd be in the kitchen. I'm gonna put this thing back on the table, and I'm gonna go look around somewhere. I think I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Let's go try this nifty chair out. Look at that, it's got a nice cushion on it. Yeah, that's nice. Alright. Lady Arabella, I have received a request for repairs to the roof of your garden tower. Alas, I must confess that I am not the man to undertake this task. It may have escaped you your notice that the tower in your orchard is known to locals as the Turbulent Tower. It is uh, believed that a poltergeist dwells within its walls. Legend says the spirit is evil and brings ferocious winds upon anyone who dares to enter the tower. Ooh, we're going to need that. I don't want to provoke the wrath of the ghost, and I advise you to refrain from meddling with the tower. Willie the Builder. Someone's superstitious. Okay, didn't one of those plants need it? Not the pixie one. The, the wolf glove. Letter from the Builder. And then also the pot notes we're going to need for the pixie tears. Okay. So wolf glove, we're going to need to take it to the tower. See if the poltergeist can blow on it. Get that wind going. Okay. Let's go this way. Oh, that must be the tower right there. Interesting. Ooh. It looks like that's uh, a lift. Okay. What's this? In an um, an Let's see. How do you say that? Anmo meter. Broken anmo meter. Probably messing that up too. And move up. Oh wow. This whole thing goes up. Level one. Interesting. Okay. And each level is probably a different amount of wind. Nice. Okay, let's go back down. That is really cool. Got a whole elevator in here. A whole elevator in a haunted tower. Okay. Got some ghosts in there, poltergeist and everything. Here we go. Power wind research. Okay, we got wind speeds of 35 on the third floor. Somehow my um, anometer anometer broke. I hope there isn't a poltergeist in the tower after all. Okay, so we don't... We can tell how much uh, the speed is, but we don't know what we need. But that's going to be for the wolf glove. Wind research. Mountaineer's Guide to Alpine Exploration. Second edition issued by Alpine Club. Oh, here we go. Be sure to wear the correct gear when climbing. The wind in the Alps can be fierce and changeable. It is advised to wear thick, warm clothing and sturdy boots with a good grip. Wind speed and pressure in the Alps by location. Mount Blanc, Matterhorn. Okay. So we got all those different speeds. And if I remember right, there was something... I, I, there was like a uh, thing in the house that said where the seeds came from. And that would give us the information. Oh, and there's a seed down there. Oh, and there's the secret room. Ah. How do we open it? Let's see what we got here. Painting room. Nice. Lady Arabella, as you can see, the staircase of the orangery collapsed in your absence. I have already written to the builder in the hope he wants to sort it out, though, as you know, he can be difficult to pin down. I do apologize if this is getting in the way of your research. I don't suppose you can find another way into the bottom level. Oh, I found another way. I just got to figure out how to open it. What's this say? Dearest Arabella, um, we made it to the Alps. We are so sad that you couldn't join us this time, but we understand you are busy creating your herbarium. Yesterday we were lost on a hike until we suddenly heard a strange whistling tune. We followed the sound and soon enough we discovered it was coming from a tiny flower. If only you had been there to tell us what kind of flower it was. Your loving friends, Natty. Okay. Well, you see, that was a wolf glove flower. Okay, because I'm kind of a professional now. Alpine weather. Letter about the Alps. And let's see. Arabella Green, Botany Manor. 
Can I open it? Natty Golding. Envelope with the stamp. Oh, that must have been the that came out of it. Okay. So the way to get to the bottom, we gotta go to that other thing. But let's see if we can find that note. I think it was over here. That told where we got the stuff. Oh yeah, here we go. Box glove. While let's see. It doesn't say it. Oh wait. No, it just says foxglove, and this is supposed to be wolf glove. Interesting. We gotta figure out where it is. And this letter over here was talking about the Alps, but did it say anywhere else? It was made in the Alps. Is that I thought it, like there was different places there. Let's see. Wind speed. Alps exploration. And so we need the wind speed. Somehow okay. That's not doing it. Where's the paper we we're looking for? Not in here. I wish you could look at it through your like little document thing. It's not that either. Where did I find that paper? Is it this one? That's the history of England. That's not it. Man, I don't know where that was. I got lost again. Look around some more. Okay, not there. Go back up here. Oh, it's here. Okay. Um, Mount Grand. Let's see. It doesn't say anything about, like, in the Alps by location. That's what I'm saying. I was. It says the Alps, but did it say where in the Alps? Let's see here. Didn't that check? Let's look at that note one more time. Oh. And from Natty Golding. Yeah, it doesn't say. It just says to. It doesn't say from where. We made it to the Alps. Suddenly, strange whistling sound. I'm not seeing nothing. Let's go to the art room. We also got to find a way into that place downstairs. Painting room. In the manor. Let's look at the kitchen. And then the pantry. Cool. All the paintings. Meadow Orchards. Uh, research team 1862. Ann Jones, Robert Brown, Arabella Green, Professor John Morton. Let's see. Society for Botanical Research, August 1861. Dear Miss Green, your research proposal on the structure of coastal plants was of quaint interest. We have no plans to fund a small project like this, but perhaps if you are set on botanical field work, you might assist Professor Montag in, or Montagu in his work on British meadow orchards. Uh, I am sure your natural aptitude for domestic duties would be much appreciated. Might I also recommend John Lindley's Ladies' Botany, on elementary, an elementary book for unscientific readers, and what I have heard is a suitable amusement for ladies such as yourself being about a mother who wishes to teach her children about plants. Respectfully, uh, there's a bunch of sassiness in this, isn't there? These ladies don't know how to do the botany. Okay. Flower painting and watercolor. Lady Arabella. Um, Arabella, I was wondering if I could join Mr. Bennett into town later this afternoon to place an order for a new kitchen scale. The one we have is rather ancient, and I'm afraid it's not suitable for measuring flour to make my delicious scones. If you could let me know your decision before the afternoon, you'd be, uh, that'd be lovely. In your service, Miss Patterson. 
Okay, so the way to open that, we're going to have to use that scale. It's a certain amount of weight. I would imagine maybe it's the 97. Symbology. A study wherein the discerning reader will find a history of the use of religious and folkloric symbols throughout the art of the world. Uh, published by Edwards and Co-Publishing and Supply Company, Museum Street, London. Religious symbols. Chris Gillian. Uh, Ajut. I'm not going to be able to say all that. Star and Crescent. Let's see. Okay, there's just a, a bunch of different uh, religions for the symbols. I'm sure I'm going to have to use that at some point. A painting that was never finished. What else we got in here? My dearest Arabella and Garden Fair. Garden's Fair, your grace the scene, a flower is rare. Your presence beams with radiant light, a lily's charm so pure and white. Your hands, like petals, soft and fine, in tender touch a love divine, and in your eyes a brilliance glows as daisies fair in spring repose. Oh, how I long to have you near, to cherish you, my heart sincere. Like roses freshly cut, you'd be the trophy of my home with glee. Huh. Someone likes her. Where, oh where, do I go now? I think I gotta go do the scale. I remember that other thing said 97 grams, so maybe we gotta equal up to 97. And it did have a symbol on the pot. Maybe it was the same symbol. I don't know. Let's see. What adds up to 97 here? Well, that definitely doesn't add up to 97. Interesting. What kind of pot we got here? Okay, that's that symbol again. Now, what's the number? Hmm. And again, where do we get the sugar? We got the kindling here. See, no sugar around here anyway. Okay. Let's go look at the the picture again with the weights. And maybe I gotta do 97, like add it up a different way. Maybe because it's at four spots, maybe the first two have to eat equal like nine and the second has to be seven. It's over here. I ran by it. Got distracted, okay. Here we go. So that's the pot. 97. Okay, I totally missed an area over here. Let's go see what's over here. There's a door back here. Look at all this. Maybe this is why nothing is going in, like, uh, the notes were in order. Take a seat. Got to test it out. And we got the Heritage Orchard, a preservation of endangered apple varieties. Go see what's going on over here. Oh, we got apples. Look at that. That doesn't look like a good apple. Cider making and apple blending. Sugar tannins and acid values given per single apple. Ooh, sugar. Here we go. Knobby russet. Oh. Okay. We gotta look and see what kind of acids and stuff. Look at all these different apples. It's gotta equal up to like probably 97 grams. Cider apples. Okay, I would imagine that this is part of the clues for the pixie one. Apple blending. And... Cider apple. Okay. So we gotta equal this up to 97. 97. So 40... Hmm. How many can we put in there? As many as we want, probably. 
Okay, so if we do the knobby russet, that's 40 grams. We do the cat's head, that's 30, so that's 70. And then Merlin's Mist, that's 80, 97. So knobby russet, cat's head, and Merlin Mist. Let's see what that is. Knobby russet, that is that. This one. Set this over here. Knobby russet. We need the cat's head. Cat's head, that's the green one. That's got the weird bottom. There's more over here. That one. So that's the cat's head. And then Merlin's Mist. That's a cool looking one. That's right, I think. Merlin's Mist, yep. So 40, 30, that's 70, 80, 97. Let's go make some cider. We gotta put all of them in there? I think we put them all at once. Hopefully. Ooh, cider it up. Oh no. They respond, I hope. Okay, they re- <laughs> Okay. I see what I gotta do. I gotta get the plant there. Okay, let's put them all here. Like that. There we go. That's what we needed. Let's go grab the plant. So we need the dirt, which is already there. Pixie twos. Water it up. And let's go put that sugar in it. Come on, Pixie Tears, we're gonna get it. Mash it up. Oh, look at that. Nice. Oh, that's cool. And the flower, oh, look at that, the butterfly started showing up. Achievement unlocked. Pixie Tears. Grow the Pixie Tears. The Pixie Tears no longer contains chloroplasts, which are organelli or organelles responsible for photosynthesis. Instead, the Pixie Tears obtains sugar through their roots, which is commonly uh, finds in the apples from orchards. That's really cool. Okay. Didn't need to find sugar because we got it out of the apples. And look at all the butterflies started showing up again. Making it all nice and pretty. Hey everyone, you made it to the end of the video. Thanks for watching. On the bottom of the screen, if you like, comment, share, subscribe, you can support the channel. Also, check out the videos above. That'll take you to more content from Valhalla Gaming TV. Thanks again. Later.